Hi guys. Um, so this is Owen's very first live broadcast. Hi. And I think it's your first sniff of session on video with yes. me. Yes. In four and a half years. So it must be a pretty big deal, this Cuba thing. So we have a little Cuba trivia for you. Owen is the king of all things trivia. So he is going to be dishing out those questions. And then I have something special that came in the mail today. This is five um, scents that are kind of this La Habana Scentsy collection that we've got in. And they are amazing. But I just did a very quick um, sniff. And uh, we're going to smell them live for you. And Owen hasn't smelled them at all. I haven't all, smelled them at all. Except for no. just through the package. Um, I ordered a ton of these for customers and whatnot. And so I've got a huge box over there. So they're very fragrant. So if you are with us, say hi so we can say hi back. Um, but let's get started with the first I thought we were going to talk about what I'm Do smoking it? and drinking first. Oh, okay. So, um because we're talking about Cuba, Owen has to talk about his Cubans. So what I have right here is one of my favorites. That is a Cohiba. That's a number five. And I actually bought this one when I was on deployment uh, about a year and a half ago when Scarlett was born. I just haven't smoked it yet. Aww. So I'm going to take it down with us to Putacana um, next month in about three weeks. And I'll smoke it down there with my cigar buddies. Three weeks? Three weeks, three and a half weeks. Oh my so gosh. I'll see Brandon... And uh, all those other guys. And Brandon Kip. and Sarah. Kip Brandon and Christina. Sarah. Kip. I hope I'm doing as good as Kip for my first video. But <laughs> Kip's been doing this a while. He's kind of a pro. <laughs> he will oh, laugh and then drinking. This. Because it's Cuba, you got to, you, you gotta, well, that kind of lends into the first question that we have here. But um, you always got to drink rum. But I don't have any sipping rum. So I just have like some of my favorite, which is the amazing Sailor Jerry Spice Rum. Who doesn't want to say Do they do more dark rum there or is it just? Lots of dark rum. They just do. That's a good sip. Is that what they all do, most of it? Yeah. Okay. So here you can ask this first trivia question. Uh, the first question on the trivia is what is Cuba famous for? Um, is it sugar cane cigars, politics and religion, rum and whiskey, or technology? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Can you guess? Yeah, I know the answer to that one. Only because since he um, edumacated me because of these bars. So there is going to be a little bit of a delay. So we'll let you, um, we'll let you answer that when you get to it. What do they and answer it? I don't see when you comment, it. it'll, it's going to show right. Oh. It's going to show right there. And then, so normally you can only do a live broadcast from your phone, but we are using a program called be live. Um, that is pretty new and you can do it from your computer. So we're broadcasting from, um, my computer right now. Okay, so we have the first one. This, so these are going to be in Spanish, and I haven't done Spanish in a while. So forgive my pronunciation. I took Spanish too in high school. Spanish Which means I can't speak any other. Speaking people. So it's flor de mariposa. Mariposa. Flor de mariposa. So this is the very first one. So when you get a brand new bar, sometimes it's good to just kind of like give a little rub to that very top layer of wax so that you can really get all kind of, of those like notes. Small cigar when you first take yeah. it out. Yeah. Uh, I am not a floral fan, but this is really beautiful. I really love that. Um, see what you think. So this is actually the flower of Cuba. Is that um, yeah, mariposa? Mariposa. Yeah, it smells Gosh, good. Is that what, it's like grapefruit. Is that what and, pre, uh, is that what it smells like? Yeah, it's like grapefruit. It's and, got uh, jasmine, grapefruit, another, and there's another fruit in there. I don't know what it is. Plum. Could be plum. It's white plum. That's obviously specific. You knew that obviously. Mm -hmm. I like that though. It's nice and fresh. Yeah, I don't normally like florals, but it's not like a perfumey floral. It's more of just like a fresh, a nice floral. fresh cut flowers. Yeah, you put in your, uh, like Aww. the kind I gave you from Mother's Day. So such a good. Oh, I've got to like that, that in there. That, that smells sweet. like sweet. If I could turn the computer, I'd show them all my pretty flowers for Mother's Day. And you got me. Where's my? So I have a few Alex and Ani's 
And where's the one you got me? Oh, two you got You're me. You're probably not wearing it. I am. I'm wearing both of there them. There it is. So he got me two different ones. Actually, the last one he got me has a star on it, too. So this one is the Star of Strength. And so that is for my promotion to star director, which was really sweet. And then there's one more in here. It's a starfish. It says it keeps cutting. Somebody says it keeps cutting out. Oh, well, darn. That, this Be Live is just, um, it's, a, it's kind of touch and go sometimes. Um, but we're just going to go with it. Hopefully it, uh, it gets better. Hi, Bianca. Now we have some people. Hello. Okay, so we are doing a live sniff o session of the new La Habana collection. So the first one we did was this Florida Mariposa, and it is the flower of Cuba. And we both agree that it's really fresh. It's not like a perfumey floral. It's really pretty. It's got jasmine, grapefruit, and white plum in that one. Okay. Do you want to ask another trivia question? We'll see if anybody knows. Nobody answered the last trivia question. Mm, but that's okay. We'll see. We'll see if somebody... We'll, we'll go to the next one and see if anybody Oh, we got to answer the last one just because everybody's going to come in late. All right. So Cuba is famous for sugar and cigars. Just so everybody is going into that one. Okay. Um, uh, let's see here. All right. Here we go. What is Cuba? Is it A, a peninsula of the Florida Keys, uh, B, the smallest country in the world, the largest island in the Caribbean, or the last one's the smallest island in the Caribbean? And uh, for anybody that's paying attention. So there's those there's those four ones. So what is Cuba mm. in terms of size? Okay. Well, y'all y'all guess on that while we go to the next scent. Okay. So this one... Um, so it's probably, how do you think that's pronounced? Um, pasta. Pastelitos. 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 Pa probably pas pastelitos. Pastelitos. Is that right? Anybody that's Spanish may think that I'm butchering that, but pastelitos. So let's see. Oh, okay, I'm going to let you smell that. Ooh, wow. That's like really fruity. Smells like, like pineapple. There's a lot of pineapple. It's a lot of pineapple. Mm -hmm. And uh, kind of limey. Now, there's yeah. something in there that you might really like. Is there? Mm -hmm. Hang on. It smells like, like, like a dark rum. <laughs> there's like a rum in there. There's like pineapple some. rum. Who doesn't love pineapple rum? Oh, actually, it kind of does. Let me yeah, smell that pineapple again. rum. Okay, so here, tell them what pastelitos is. Uh, I actually had one when I was dying in Miami. They're these little pastries. Like they a, fill them with different stuff. Like yeah. a fruit pie? They put them like fruit and meat and everything like that. Like mm -hmm. in Texas, you would call it, what would you call it in Texas? Like those yeah, fruit, little, like those fruit piles? Yeah, like little meat pie things. Hi, Jennifer. Um, yeah, this, this is really good. Yeah, it's like those little fruit pies. So um, they can put anything in them. And this one happens to have... Um, like what does it have? It's pineapple, lime, pineapple. and dark rum and in rum. it. But yeah, you can really pull out that pineapple is going to be your top note, and then that dark rum is going to be your. Um, it's going to be more of a mid note. It's a little bit lighter in there, but that pineapple is really prevalent. So if you like pineapple, you're going to love this pastelitos. Yep. Real fresh. Okay. All right. Did anybody guess the last one? Hey, Felicia. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's the largest island in the Caribbean. Mm, then you will That's love this one. one. If you haven't got yours yet, Bianca, you're going to love the pastelitos because um, it's even better than the um, current pineapples, the ones that we have right now. I like it better than Havana Cabana or um, the Kihiko Hula that has some in there or the, um, the other pineapple one that we have. So you will love that one. Okay, set that over there. And then do you want to do another another question absolutely okay let's do another question all right um this one's kind of fun what is a favorite sport of cuba is it baseball basketball soccer or i'll go with pool because i can't pronounce that last one <laughs> i guess we know it's not pool not i'm gonna pool. guess soccer because soccer is football right it's no, not it's baseball really baseball. oh i guess i knew that yeah, more baseball players yeah, come yeah, from yeah. cuba than 
Oh yeah, yeah. I think I, I think I forgot to really do that. Place. Okay, so this next one is going to be Havana Vieja. Uh, we got somebody got it right. Jennifer got it right. Oh, uh, good job, Jennifer. So baseball. Bianca, it's actually baseball, and if you think about it, okay. that makes a lot of sense. Oh, and this is going to be. Let me see. This is going to be one of your favorites. You're going to like that. Does it smell like rich mahogany and leather bound books? No, but I've been telling Orville for years that you need that. Oh, geez. You like it, don't you? I'm trying to think <laughs> of what the notes are. <laughs> so this guy has tobacco flower. That's just. Oh, smelling. is that what it is? Is mm -hmm. this tobacco? Yeah. Tobacco flower, amber, and vanilla in that one. They don't smell the same, but it's still pretty good. That. That's tobacco flower. Mm -hmm. Good grief. That's like, there's something else in here that's kind of woody. It's kind of got like a wood note. It's probably the... Um, it smells like Amber Road. You think so? No, it's like a, it's got that same note as Amber Road. Well, it has the amber in it. Ah, that's what it is. There's amber. Mm -hmm. See, my nose is getting pretty good at this. Yeah, well, the musk in that. Yeah, thing. it's real musky. It's a good, like, kind of a... Like a man. It's really, I mean, you can definitely. There's something else in there too. But maybe look, you can, I mean, that's vanilla. so similar, guys. I mean, it doesn't smell like a cigar, but. It kind of does. Smell, you I can, can smell, smell the, it. the lights. You can smell the light note in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's some good stuff. That's going to, I'm going to have to order a bunch of those. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of, it's fresh and fruity, but it's kind of got a lot of the, the man, like, um, Mm -hmm. Kind of the man. I think that it? tobacco flower is the top note for sure. I don't get a lot of it's fruit. It's the amber out of it. too. I smell a lot of the yeah, amber. Yeah, a lot of the musky. So that's why it's kind of manly, is because it's got the musky. I to believe. It. What's the name? Mm. The name is called Habana Viejo. Well, that's old. That's the old Havana. So. Oh, yeah. That's uh, that Vieja is yeah, the old. old. Yeah, so it's like for the old town. Oh, that's probably what goodness. it smells I like. I keep when, smelling that. It probably smells like that when you drive through the town or something. Oh, my goodness. Oh. This is probably why there's a picture of that the car on the road. Oh, yeah. Looks like you're driving through. Look at that. Like I want to go there just to all those colors. They're so pretty. Like, all of the photos have all those amazing colors to them. I love that. Yeah. Okay, let's do our yeah, next quiz one. question. I'll put that on my list. Yeah, that one. And we can order those separately. Um, so, if you don't know, I got... Um, this whole collection, there's five cents from Cuba in this cute little burlap bag, and it's a little special. So it's just 20 bucks for the burlap bag and all five of the cents. So normally four cents by themselves would be 20. So you get five in a bag for, um, for the 20 and it's limited edition. So, um, as of yesterday in only three days we'd sold 29,000 of them so that's one every like 10 seconds or so so um, well, how many did we buy um i think i have maybe um 10 in there that's pretty good yeah i think i have maybe 10, 10 in there but right. they are selling fast yeah the burlap bag is pretty awesome i am a, pretty awesome. i have a bag me, problem makes me think of like so, I have like a lot of bags. Coffee and tobacco leaves. Mm -hmm. That's what it makes me think of. Okay, what's our next question? Um, who was the first explorer to discover Cuba? We're going to go with Christopher Columbus, um, Magellan, John Smith, or I'll say Neil Armstrong for the last one since I can't pronounce the name. Ponce de Leon. That guy. I like saying so that. So a couple of Spanish explorers in there. That's what I guess just because I wanted to say it. A couple it. of Ponce de Por Leon. Portuguese explorers, Portugal explorers. So... Can you guess what it is? No, I thought it was Ponce de Leon. No. Christopher Cuba, Columbus. Columbus. It was Columbus. Because remember, he accidentally didn't discover America. He accidentally didn't discover it. Right. Well, we get a day off, he did so it's okay. Cuba. Okay. Or he found Cuba. Okay, we have two more. I'm going to save that one for last. Okay. This one is, oh, it's that Playa de... Viaro? Oh, no. Var Vararo? Uh, Vararo? It's the name of a town. I know that much. Playa de Vararero. Ah! It means beach. I do know that much. <laughs> so it's the beach of that place. Oh my gosh, I totally butchered that. It probably that. makes sense because there's a picture of a girl and a beach on there. Yeah, that's true. Playa, it's all backwards. Okay, so Playa de Vararero. I totally butchered that. 
everybody from that beach is hating you. Sorry. Well, if they're watching, then they might, but maybe they aren't watching. Okay. Next. That's so unique. It smells like the beach. It smells like salt. I've never smelled and anything like sweet. that. And it's kind of sweet. So, so like this kind of one salty, has a little bit of sweet in it. Havana lily bergamot. It smells like flowers. Yeah. And it has sugar cane in it. And I think the sugar cane is what makes it. So, you know, whenever you smell like a beachy smell, like it almost feels a little acidic on the end. Like it's, um, like it's real sharp. Dead, <laughs> dead sea fish. Oh, I thought you meant shark or crab. No, no like crab and dead <laughs> and dead, dead fish. And no. It doesn't smell like that. No, Take no. all the dead animals and the birds away. And this is what it's No, I meant like the sea air kind of is like, mm. it's sharp, like on the finish. When you, when you smell that, it's kind of like crisp. Well, that um, sugar cane mellows that out and it makes it like kind of a softer, creamier finish. And so that's what's surprising about it is you, you really get that, um, that crisp freshness, but then it finishes soft. So it's really pretty. So we have a way with words describing scents. Um, I've been doing this for a little while now. So this has got bergamot in it. If you don't know, so bergamot is, um, is a citrus. So it's got the zest. So, you know, whenever you take that zester and you take off the, um, the peel, like for your food. So it has the zest and it's kind of like an orange. So, um, that is what's in there. So I can't smell a lot of orange. Um, but, Oh, I missed it. Angela said it smelled like the beach earlier. Yeah, I think yeah. it smells like the beach too. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what it means. So what does that mean exactly again? It's the beach of that place. Okay, so Varadero, Vara, Varadero beach. is the place and Playa means beach? The beach. Oh, so Playa means beach. Yeah, that beach. It okay. smells like that beach. Okay. So if you haven't so been to beach. that beach... <laughs> And get this. And you, know <laughs> and you will know what it like. smells like. It okay. smells like sugar cane. Oh, good Not, grief. It doesn't smell like fish. That one is really nice. I like that one a lot. Okay, set that up there. Let's do another. Let's do another. Let's do another tri trivia question. I don't have too many trivia questions. Let's do one more. One's ah, here we go. Cuba was one of the first islands conquered by whom? And most of them are European countries. So you got. Well, it says the English, the Spaniards, the French, and the Arabs. So Cuba was conquered by, was first conquered by which of those? Lisa, countries? I can help you. All right. So English, Spaniards, French, <laughs> and the Arabs. We probably rule them out right away. Well, just saying. I don't know much, but. And for any of you. Bianca got it. She's too fast. <laughs> Good job. It's the Spaniards. For any of you that think our quiz is too hard. Just so you know, it's a quiz for kids. I'll crank it up. I got another one. We got a really hard one here. Well, I tried to look up quiz questions for like adults. All right. No. Bianca's got almost all of them. So let's see if Bianca gets this one. So actually, oops, I think I lost it. <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> Four and a half years. Could you believe it? Gosh, I just started doing this as a hobby because I was bored when we um, somebody moved me to South Korea. All right, here's the next here one. Here I am. Ever since 1959, Cuba has what type of government? Not getting into politics here, but is it a democratic, senatorial, a one-party socialist state, or a constitutional monarchy? <laughs> Bianca seems to be all over these, so let's see what she's got. All right, Bianca, it's up to you. Democratic, senatorial. One party socialist state or a constitutional monarchy. Uh, and I, I she's we Googling see it. how many of you are on here and nobody's answering. I bet she's Googling it. Yes. Come on, somebody put yourself out there. She told you she was Googling it. <laughs> did you did you Google it? Oh, <laughs> Bianca is active duty military. Oh, that's well in that case. So I got a ten out of ten on this questionnaire, so yeah, it's one party. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so she she knows her she knows her history, she knows her stuff. Um, okay, so I've been waiting this one. Okay, so a little confession. Coffee is one of my most favorite things in the whole world. That's not a confession. That's pretty well known. But I haven't liked any of the coffee scents that Scentsy has ever had. They're just not my favorite. Like, I do not like them. This one 
I think is going to be a game changer. Uh, Morgan, <laughs> that's where we have Google. Um, Google helps solve, Google Home helps solve any of those problems. Do, do you think Google will know the answer? I doubt it. Ooh, let's ask her. Let's, do you want to see if Google can answer the question? If you want to answer, ask her the language that they speak there. Of course she knows that one. Hey, Google, what's the official language in Cuba? Cuban's official language is Spanish language. Ah, oh, see, Google's so smart. Google's pretty smart. I don't know if anybody heard that. Let me turn. turn Google <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna move Google over here. So if you guys don't have Google Home, seriously, it's probably my favorite thing right now. Um, she's pretty awesome. She did you know she can translate stuff too? Uh, so you have to pronounce it properly. Well, no, you she can translate from English. So, uh, what do you want her to say? Uh, Hold on. No, what do you want to? Oh, I have Alexa. I should have asked her. I want to Google Home. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a hard decision. All of the tech blogs put them. 1506, La Balde Drive, Parker House, no, no, Texas, no. 76548. It's 90. What in the world was that? I don't know. She thought I was asking her a question. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Hey, Cuba, what's a favorite no, sport? Google. Hey, hey, Google, what's a favorite sport at Cuba? Baseball. According to Wikipedia, aside from the traditional cockfighting okay, and other good. gambling that's, that's sports, good. That's along good. with baseball, no, boxing was one of the most popular hey, Google, that's sports okay. in pre revolution Google, stop. <laughs> you have to say okay. hey, Google, and then she will stop. Okay. <laughs> baseball. Right. Okay, so uh, we're going to do the last one of the collection. This is Cafe Cubano, right? Is that how you pronounce it? Cafe, Cafe Cubano. Yep. Um, actually, it's look, it looks like my cup. You don't have to look, it looks like my cup. Oh, yeah, it looks like Aww. your cup. So, I have this yellow espresso cup that I use every single day, and it looks exactly like that. Okay, so again, I confession have not ever liked any of the coffee scents that we have had. So, oh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Okay, I'll, I'll try it and see, but I'm gonna like a little. Smells like coffee and almonds. Oh my goodness! It's coffee. Wonder how to smell like coffee. This is the one. Good grief, guys! This is so good. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna warm that one along <gasps> with vanilla nut bread in the morning, and disappoint you when you come into the <laughs> kitchen. We ever, <laughs> you'll think that there's coffee in that going, and there won't be anything. I'll It'll know. Just be I'll know that you didn't make it because you don't know how to cook trim healthy mama plan yet. Oh my goodness, guys! Okay, so this has coffee, almond flour, and sandalwood in it. I so smell the sandalwood. I think I don't know. I don't know exactly why I don't love. I the smell coffees that time. before. I think because the coffees before are a little more. Um, a little too sweet. And I think that sandalwood is actually what makes this more of a rich aroma. Well, um, coffee is a really dark note and the sandalwood is kind of complimentary. The heavier on the note. Side. Yeah, I think that, I think that. She bought 10 bars of it. Mm -hmm. This one nice coffee. is fantastic. Um, yeah, bef I really like um, espresso. So instead of having like a coffee, I have a, a double shot of espresso in the morning. And if I don't, then I like a French roast. So I like a really dark roast. And I think that's what I like about this one is it's really um, aromatic. It's very rich. Um, it really, it's really full. I really love this one. I think you guys need to get this. Let's say bold and sharp. It's not sharp because of the sandalwood, but it's bold. You're, I, was you're trying to, good. I was trying to use a fancy term that, to describe my smells. It's so good. <laughs> it's bold and subtle. This one's so good. Okay, so. And the whole in, the whole entryway smells like coffee because you could tell you opened it up. Mm -hmm. Hey, might have left one open because the whole entryway smells like no, coffee. No, I didn't open one. any of them. The they whole just, well, the whole, the whole box, box smells like the coffee. The whole box smells like like coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't wait to learn like this one in the morning. Of coffee beans from mm -hmm. Cuba. Uh, it's what it looks like. It looks like a coffee bag. Okay, so guys, for real, this stuff 
is amazing. I love all five of these. I don't know if I, if I don't even know which one my favorite. They're all really unique. I already know my favorite. Well, the tobacco flower one's going to yeah, be your favorite. Yeah, the Habana Viejo. That's yeah. my favorite one. Here, let's do one last sniff. Okay. That's my favorite. Oh, God. The Habana Viejo. The one that smells like Vieja. Old, old, down, old downtown. And then I'm going to have to go. I'm going to go with the uh, Marposa. I'm going to go with the Flower of Cuba. Those are my two favorites. Uh, this one. I, I don't like tobacco or tobacco flower. But this, why is this one so good? It smells like a... It smells like... Oh, it's so good. Why is Jeremy watching? Jeremy, really? <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy's so hot right now. So hot right like now. I like him too. <laughs> Oh no, we're gonna start a like a man love sesh. Uh, this does Jeremy smoke? Do you smoke cigars, Jeremy? I don't remember. I think so. Yeah. Uh, this one smells like tobacco flower. Yeah. Um, Y'all need it. Habana via vieja vieja. Oh my lord, that one's good. Okay, and then Playa de. Jeremy says he doesn't smoke. Varadero. Maybe it's most pipes. Mm, okay, yeah, that one's the beachy one that's got that sugar cane, so it's a little less crisp. It's more uh, ew. Um, Flor de Mariposa. Mm, that one is so pretty. That one is floral, but not a perfumey floral. And then uh, making me pronounce all of these. Somebody's going to curse me out right now of all of the bad pronunciations. Pastelitos. So this one is like that. It's the Cuban pineapple. pastry. It's like and it smells pineapple. just like pineapple. It smells just like pineapple. Pineapple, like pineapple lime. And, rum. and then it has that dark rum, rum. rum in it. I, I think rum. that you're going to smell that rum more whenever you warm it. I think that rum is going to come out a little bit more when you warm it. Okay. So I really suggest all of these. And um, they come... If you get the bundle in this bag here. So normally each one of these are five. So four of them would be 20. But you get that extra one for free. Plus this cute little scentsy bag for free for 20 bucks. So if anybody wants one and you haven't already ordered it. Or you feel like you need a second set. Let me know. Yep. And I will get that ordered for you. Um, coffee juice. I'm looking forward to Cafe. Cafe. Yeah, you're going to like that one a lot, Bianca, I promise. Uh, Lisa, let me know if I can help you. Um, okay, I keep dropping these everywhere, so I think we're done. Uh, thanks so much for watching our um, live Smith sniff o session and our playing our trivia. Um, it was good to chat with you tonight. Thanks, honey. No Appreciate it. I hope I did as good as Kip. Aww. I hope he comments on it. I'll, I, will, um, I will nudge Christina and let her know. Uh, and we will see them. You will see them soon. Three weeks. Three weeks. See you in Putacana in three weeks, guys. Yay, our Scentsy trip. And we get to see all of our Scentsy friends, all of his Scentsy man friends in Putacana soon. Tell Chris to buy one. All right, see you guys in a few. Ooh, Ooh that sounds cool. fun. Okay, well, we can't wait to hear what that's about. Okay, bye, guys. Thanks, bye-bye. No